God is good all the time, all the time, God is good. We'd like to welcome you to Our Lady of Grace, especially during this Advent season with these series of reflections these last four weeks. We are now entering into the third and fourth week of Advent, in which is the middle point that we rejoice that Christ is drawing near. And so we'd like to invite you to join us for the Christmas season, and particularly on the 24th and on the 25th, by coming here to Our Lady of Grace in the comfort of your own car or your own chair, or in the comfort of your own home as well. Christmas Eve, we will be having a 5 p.m. Family Mass, a 7 p.m. Mass of Christmas, multilingual, and on the 25th, Mass at 8, 9.30, and 11 a.m. in Spanish. Please join us as we bring Christ, the newborn King, into our life and into our world during this pandemic. We hope to see you. God bless you. Welcome to our Advent Reflection on this day, December 23rd. Our Gospel Reflection is taken from St. Luke chapter 1, verses 57 to 66. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown His great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth. Teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Do you dare to pray this prayer at times, especially during this time that we are living in? God sends us difficult messages and teaches, teaches us in rough guises. God teaches us sometimes in the most obscure moments. God teaches us sometimes in the most uncertain of times. This is what we see in today's gospel and the, all the readings today on December 23rd. All were amazed that this child would be named not after his father, not after his grandfather, not after his great-grandfather, as generations have done down through the line, but John will be his name. And the question is, what will become of this child? You and I are called by name for a particular call, for a particular mission, but more than that, we are called to proclaim the marvelous works that God has done for us. You know what we, we fail at sometimes as Catholic Christians is we fail to witness to the faith by sharing our story, our conversion, by sharing how God, what God has done with others. We just keep it to ourselves. Why don't we share it? What good, the marvelous works the Lord has done in our life. Maybe this Christmas season, why don't we share around the table or around our living room or with family who we will be calling the marvelous works and the graces that we are uh, been given during this time of pandemic. The graces that we've been able to see during these weeks of Advent, through these reflections, through our participation at Mass, or just by our simple prayers. Have a great day. God bless you.